Hello! My name is Pokina and today I'm going to show you how to get super cheap hand tracking just like this um, and combine it with VC face facial tracking. Personally, I think VC face uh, wins in regards to face tracking uh, for sort of free items. So I like to use this software with their tracking, but it does work as a standalone if your PC can't quite hack it. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to gonna go ahead and do is click the link in the description below, which will take you to webcam motion capture. Once you're on here, you're going to want to go ahead and click download, click on Windows or Mac, whichever you are, click Windows. Once it's downloaded, it will look like this. Webcam motion capture win. You want to go ahead and right click it, extract files, and it will look like webcam motion win. I've dragged and dropped this onto my sort of desktop. So once you've downloaded it, double click. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is um, you won't need to log in if you had like aren't subscribed. But if you are subscribed, you can log in. You can try it for free. Um, this will let you test it out. You can still do the hand tracking. Yeah, yeah, you can see it going on behind me now. I'm like wiggling my fingers to the side of me. Um, you can try it for free but you will not be able to export that to VC face and there will be like um, like a screen over the top. So if I click try for free, here's what you get. It's okay, don't get me wrong, it, it gives you the chance to check your tracking and like decide if you like how it feels. You know, if you think it's not gonna be sufficient for you, um, something like leap motion might be the way to go about it. But I, I personally think it's quite good. You can edit like where sort of the tracking comes from. So current or orientation look straight at your pc screen i've got the camera slightly above my pc screen so i got a little bit i can move my hands a little further out um so we can see a little further because my pc is facing a wall so just look straight at your screen and you can set the current orientation as front so this is now looking dead ahead once you close that you can also edit how uh, like kind of responsive it is i like i move quite quick so i like it to be about 30. I feel like that looks very smooth and fast. You can import um, your own VRM into here. So like I've got a few different ones. So let's go for the checkered version of me. Give it a second. There you go. You can like test it with your own VTuber before you start. Um, but that's just how you use it as a standalone. What you're going to need to do if you want all these sort of bits on the screen to vanish is click subscribe. So once you click subscribe, it will take you to this page. You need to input your email address uh, and click submit and it'll take you through all the, the payment items. Uh, I'm not gonna dox myself, but it's quite self-explanatory. Once you are subscribed, you will get an email from web motion capture with your login information, which will be your email and a custom password. You can then go back onto here come out of it go back in and once you go back in bear with me you will be able to input your details here and log in please note i didn't show you this before but you can also use this in the past tense with a video um, and choose which camera i go for the the largest camera setting i don't know why i just have it seems to work a little bit better for me um, but all of the cameras available on your PC should show up here. Now, I'm not 100% certain on this. Some people had issues. You definitely cannot, if you cannot, use the same camera for this that you are using for VC face. They need to be completely separate. So I'm using my phone for VC face. Um, I'm using something called Meow Face. It's, it's like an, uh, an Android equivalent. Um of like some of the face tracking apps but it, it's shutting down soon but you can use something like Arian webcam to mirror your face or if you just have two webcams i would suggest you don't even need a high quality one for this um so i would suggest just using that i've used my old webcam for this so i wouldn't worry about that okay once you're in here you'll notice that there's been a new tab up here at the top normal mode and send to external app if you click send to external app you will get this pop-up you need to then go ahead and match your IP and port with what you are using in VC face. So let's take you into VC face. Go into settings general and scroll down to OSC VCM protocol. And you want to tick the OSC VCM receiver 
this will disable like the tracking for most of your body bar your face which is why i'm completely still right now um once you've done that you can show your lan ip um and you need to put this number here which obviously i blanked out but this first number here into this ip bit here and the same goes for the port you've got below once you've inputted them the data should start to come over you may need to click um start here what i have chosen to do however is like i say kept my vc face tracking so you need to tick this box here and make sure you want to tick the first sort of five whatever you want to use from here um i've left all the bottom ones because obviously i'm doing them from web, uh, web motion capture and now we have tracking yay and it works it works just as it, it did before it's it's, it's a fantastic piece of software okay now that's all you need to know it should be quite self-explanatory from that point um but there you go that is how you go about getting uh your hand tracking into bc face hope this was helpful um if it was i stream over on twitch and i would really appreciate the support um i've got a subathon coming up soon and i'm super excited about that um, so it'd be lovely to meet some of you guys and like get some real hype going. So have a fantastic day everybody. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please pop them down in the comments and I will try and help you out. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely day. My name's Pokina and I'll see you again soon with some more tutorials.